Hey, Colin Hiles here, aka The Mindset Guy, with today's training video, which is part two in this self-empowerment series. So in part one, we looked at how to tap your true power. We looked at the four core powers. And if you haven't watched the video, please stop this video and go and watch it. Uh, it'll be the one that's before this video on my blog or on my YouTube channel. So just go and watch it. It'll make more sense if you do that and you'll get more from this video if you do. So in this video, we're gonna look at how to empower yourself now. And I promised you in the last video a little mind trick, a little game that you can play that will really help you power up these four core powers. Now, most of us don't realize that we're living in two separate realities simultaneously. There's the external reality, the physical reality, and then there's this internal reality, this private world that we spoke about last time. And because we don't separate the two, what's happening for most of us is we're just reacting to what's going on in the external world. Good things happen, I feel good. Bad things happen, I feel shit. It's basically up and down. We're like a puppet on a string being controlled by external because we haven't really stopped to, to, to understand that fundamentally our thinking and our feeling and our speaking and our behavior is within our control. And the funny thing is the moment that we stop reacting is the moment that we start creating a new reality. It's the moment that we start responding, and I spoke about response ability, that, that we begin to use our powers, or we begin to study and understand what makes mind power and what makes each of us powerful, not powerless, but powerful. You see, our thoughts, the thoughts that we have every single day create reality. And I put that down here, thoughts create reality. It's our most dominant thoughts. It's the thoughts that we think about all the time. And in the last video, I gave you three individuals, right? One individual who's dominated by gambling, another individual that's dominated by thoughts, dominated by creating a new business, a new business venture for herself, uh, which will you know, equal, equal an income. Uh, another individual that's dominated by th food. So thoughts, and now dominate, a dominant thoughts, is what creates our reality. The moment we change our dominant thoughts, the moment we concentrate on something different, is the moment that we create a very different reality for ourselves. See, if we study our core powers, thinking, feeling, speaking, and behaviors, and we get mastery over those, then we begin to get mastery over what happens in the physical world. But you see, for most of us, our waking hours, you know, eating, um, shopping, making love, going to work, all the things that we do, we don't really put that much thought about it. You know, we don't really think about how we think. We don't pay attention to what thoughts are just flying through our mind. We're just, as I said, we're just reacting the whole time. We're in reaction the whole time. So let's look at this little game we can play with ourselves that, that will help us get more control. So I put up here the word consciousness because it's all about being conscious. It's all about being more aware of what thoughts we're having and how we're having those thoughts so that we can get more control over them. So here's the little game that I've been talking about. Now it is said that we have 60,000 thoughts a day. 60,000 thoughts flying through our mind every single day, okay? Is it 60? I don't know, I've never stopped to count, that's what the research says. But let's go with this for a moment. Now let's say, let's play this game. See, most people are very motivated by money, right? And if for every single 100 thoughts, you got a, a penny, Right, so for every single hundred thought, you've got a penny, which means at the end of the day, you can have 600 pounds in your bank account if you have positive thoughts. However, if you have negative thoughts, you whinge, you complain, you blame, you um, justif justify something, or you focus on lack in your life, then you lose money. Money basically is lost from your bank account. 
right? So that represents this one here. So this represents money going into your bank account. This represents money coming out of your bank account. But you see, at the end of the day, you put your head on the pillow and you go asleep, and, and this little machine tallies up, this little chip that's inserted, tallies up all of your thoughts, and then it works out how much money you've made or lost that day. You wake up in the morning, you open your bank account, and you have a look, how much money did I make yesterday? How much money did I lose yesterday? Now, if that was true, 100% true for you, how much thought would you put on thinking? And if you found yourself being a bit of a negative Nelly, a bit of a mood hoover or an energy vampire, how quickly would you turn it around? How quickly would you turn it into something positive thought? Or would you allow yourself to dwell uh, and to continue this, this negative thinking? Of course you wouldn't, because it's money being lost. You don't want to lose money, you want to make money, right? So you would put more thinking and more thoughts. You see, you're never going to have a level of abundance, you know, let's say an abundance reality, if you've got poverty consciousness. To have success, you've got to have success consciousness. To have a level of health and well-being, you've got to have a health and well-being consciousness. It all starts with this inner consciousness. And it all starts with thinking, feeling, moving to speaking behavior, moving to changing a new reality. So that's the game for this week. I want you to put some, put some thinking into your thinking and really analyze how negative or how positive you've been at the end of the day. And if you were really attributing money, how well have you done at the end of the day? Have you made money? Is your account more full? Or is your account more depleted as a result? See, a lot of people will say, well, it's all right, Colin, for that successful person. It's easy to be positive when you're successful. Yes, it is. Yes, absolutely it is. But you see, if you're waiting until you're going to be successful with a negative mindset, it's never going to arrive. It's not going to happen. Right? You know, if you go, oh, it'd be great to have that good job. You know, I'd love the reality of a new job, but your thinking is, eh, there's no really good jobs going anymore. I mean, all the good jobs are taken now, aren't they? Well, what chances are you having the reality of a new job? Not much. Or maybe it's that you, you know, you want to be more confident. For instance, you'd love to experience more confidence, but all you focus on, your thinking is all about your inadequacies and your weaknesses and your shortfalls and your flaws, right? And all you do is you criticize and condemn yourself, then you've got no chance of speaking and behaving in a way which, which the world would say you're a confident person. It all starts with changing the level of inner consciousness. And that means being aware. So that little game that you've got to play for this week should help you do it if you play the game. If you pay attention to, well, how positive was I today versus negative was I today? How much money did I make? How much money did I lose? So there we go. Quick video. Got a few things to do there and a few things to think about. Remember, give me a score. Please give me feedback. This is really, really important. One didn't enjoy it. Ten really enjoyed it. Got a lot out of this. If you're on my YouTube channel, please subscribe, that's below, um, and help get the word out uh, with, these, with these videos. Um, please post them on your favorite social media platform. I'd really appreciate it if you do that. This is Colin Hiles, The Mindset Guy. Look forward to seeing you on the next video. Hold on, now, did you enjoy that video? Well, if you did, I would like to show you how you can train your mind to perform how you want it to so that you can break through to the next level with my advanced mind power training. It's totally free and you can get it by going to www.advancedmindpowertraining.com or clicking on the link below this video. I'll see you on the next video.